does copper still have a PhD mm -hmm. in economics? It absolutely does. I mean, you're, you're seeing it here right now, exuding those recession fears. Um, you know, what, what this market is, I think it's down about 12 percent, 8 percent, 8 to 12 percent here on the week, depending where you looked at it. Um, it you know, it, it's a great, great way to, to get a pulse on the economy. And, you know, copper is, is an electrical uh, conductor. It's used in construction. So houses are being built. Infrastructure is being done. Um, copper is going to be used. And that demand's there. It's also a proxy you know, through through the green space a bit as well, from a lot of a lot of untradeable metals that might be used. So it's uh, it's a great way to keep uh, keep a pulse on the economy. And right now, it's telling us that those uh, those recession fears are are very relevant. However, you know, I want to shift the conversation because in the West, you know, the U.S. Uh, in Europe, those are the relevant recession fears. But for China, they're they're arguably coming out of a recession that took place in the second half through the second half of last year, we're watching the uh, Chinese credit impulse very closely, and that bottomed in Q4. And copper tends to lag that. So we got a really strong dollar right now, the recession fears in the West. I think co uh, copper, because China uh, consumes 50%, more than 50% of the world's copper, they're going to be a, a, a leading indicator right now for um, for the move in copper to come. So I think there's a lot of support down here, but but yes, Dr. Copper is telling us what's going on in the economy right now. It's interesting because it's almost a divergent view between the world's biggest economy and the world's mm -hmm. second biggest economy at that point. Let's shift to the grain side of things, the soft commodities. Uh, could we expect any kind of relief in the grocery store in the future based upon what you're seeing in the grains prices? You know, that's one of the things that, that we really, you know, we're curious how long it's going to take. I mean, because CPI numbers, I mean, you have the hot, hot print for June or for May and June. And I believe that we're going to start to see some of these numbers come in a bit. Shelter is the big question, but food and energy, even though the Cleveland nowcast of CPI has come into about, uh, I think it's 5.6% right now for June, the headline number, that, that's core, but the headline number is still hanging at 86 which includes food and energy. So the question is, when will these food and energy prices coming in have an impact on CPI? And I, I think at some point, I mean, it's going to, but it, it probably will take a little longer than, than one would expect. I mean, these the, the stores can keep it up there for a bit. Just the same way, once they move gasoline prices up through May, it stays there until the kids go back to school. So I, I, I think right now you've had a, a big move down in these agriculture prices. The market's going to digest it. Uh, but you're not going to see it at the grocery store really soon. There's still a, a big planting season ahead, too. So mm -hmm. this is a liquidation, as it is across all commodities, crude oil, uh, in the energy space, down to the ags, down the metals. And a lot of this could happen due to, I mean, there's the Fed, there's the dollar, but also July contract roll-offs, I think, has had an impact on it, too. So it's a cleansing in the market. Um, wheat has a lot of support as you move into seven bucks. And I said, like I said, the planting season is still getting started. Uh, and it was a long way to go. And early on in planting season, the, the, the weather was wet and cold. And then we had these these days of really hot, dry weather. Right. So it became very, very opportune for planting. And so that's that's where we are right now. But I, you know, I think it's going to continue to be volatile. And this cleansing right here is going to bring a bottom. I don't, I'm not calling it here today, but I, I think we're very close to it. Um, and, and again, you see the Fed minutes today. The Fed's talking about spending, um, you know, uh, business sure. uh, fixed income spending is, is, is picking up, uh, sorry, falling back a little bit. And that's going to pave the way, I think, to, for them to lift their foot off the pedal.